Hey Aries, so um, I'm going to go ahead and do your September reading for 2020 and uh, I'm going to, you know, stalk some energy for you. First we're going to stalk your energy for September and then we're going to stalk their energy. Who are we stalking through tarot today? I'm very excited for this. It is a nice day out today. Looking out the window, looking at the pond. It's quite nice, actually. It's not too hot out today. Although it is a bit muggy, but that's okay. Interesting. Are you overseeing things on how you can flow toward this person? You, you have a lot of love for them. I see you wanting to offer your cup, but in a way, you're feeling like nothing's going to work out as planned, but you're still going to go for it anyways, Aries. There's a sense of defeat. Somebody's going to win here. Um, you want to win this person over. You've been isolating yourself, uh, meditating. You've been hanging on by us already here. Now we got to stalk their energy to see... See what the person you're dealing with is uh, going through in regards to this connection. So, the person that you'll be dealing with. Oh. Interesting. This person knew that things were imbalanced. Um, it's like they had this idea. <laughs> Look, both of you guys are very anxious about this. You both have the Nine of Swords. This person still has a lot of passion for you. Their wish is to uh, make things fair make things right um but they're gonna try to wiggle their way in without really apologizing i do see that they have some things to get off their chest <laughs> so they're hoping that you'll forgive them without them apologizing i see you're in a good place of uh, wanting to give this person <clears throat> you keep slipping into their mind looks like you guys are both doing this uh, you'd like to make things calmer between the both of you maybe things got a little bit too rowdy they're um, they have a strong feeling about this because <clears throat> they do have this drive toward you. I see that they're wishing to make things right with you.
Yeah, they, they do want to tell you that they love you. <laughs> Give some love confessions here. You don't want to waste any time anymore. You may be feeling like your efforts haven't worked, but um, whatever you're doing, just know that I feel like you've forgiven them, but in a way you, you feel as if they're not, it's not going to work out. Like, they're not going to cooperate with your love, but I do see that they are. <laughs> I think this wanted to come out. You're not seeing any other options here. You didn't get, a wish wasn't granted for you in the past, but I feel like, you know, because you have the nine of cups in the reverse and they have it upright. You may feel like they don't wish for you, but in all reality, they wish for things to work out with you. They're wishing that you it's almost as if what this is saying is that I do get that they're saying here we don't have to apologize in a way because like you might have taken some time to really sort this through. They're going to try to sort this through with you because they're deeply attracted to you. Let's see some more of your energy here. I know you don't want the mixed emotions and emotional ups and downs. You may be very confused right now. And you also have the Queen of Wands. So there's a there's a very strong um, attraction between the two of you. You're feeling like you don't deserve this for some reason. <laughs> You're feeling as if you don't deserve this person. But they are going to come to you. They're going to come back around. But I feel like you're going to be the one to make that offer first. Roles can be reversed. Um, take what resonates. Leave out what doesn't. So... Your energy, Aries. Because you both have the Tower card. There's something that you're not going to expect from each other. And you do have the King of Cups in the reverse. You're feeling as if you shouldn't trust your feelings. <laughs> but you guys are going to work it out. Without apologizing, I feel like you guys are going to learn to forgive each other and things are going to turn around as they would like to. Not just you. Forget about the mistakes. Now let's see some more of their energy. Stock some more of their energy, guys. Curious person. I really flew. This person may be thinking badly about themselves and they'd like to let go of that. They feel like it's it's not time to be stagnant anymore. It's time to fix things. It's really time to fix things, guys, with this person. Because they really just want to get things out of their head, they want to tell you their feelings, how they feel. 
<clears throat> they don't want to be single from you. They just don't want to be single from you. Yeah, they're remembering what you guys had. They're they're letting go of anything negative that it ha has uh, happened. There may be a delay. Of course, this is a you know. There's a lot of forgiving. They're dropping any toxicity. Yeah, they're they're pretty much dropping everything that happened in the past that didn't go right. So they are coming back around to you. I see you moving toward them first. They're waiting on you to make the first move. Ten of Pentacles. They see everything with you. I mean, you have this belief where... <clears throat> where things aren't going to go in your favor, but... They are. It's working out in both of your favors, so. If you were indecisive about this person, it looks like you are deciding uh, what you're stepping into your power, I see that. You may not see the potential and growth in this, because um, you do have the Empress in the reverse. You guys aren't going to be single from one another for long. You're not taking a rest of this, you're going to keep going on with this person. You may have said some things, somebody has said some things, uh, maybe some gossip, you probably picked it up. You have the strength in the reverse while they have it upright. I don't feel as if you have enough like faith in this connection, you should probably put in some more faith. It's as if you guys feel like you're not good enough for one another. That's not the case here. You definitely worth something to this person. You're worth a lot to this person. And they're worth a lot to you, I can see, because you've really taken the time to step back and realize some things. You guys aren't going to be single from each other, okay? You're not. If you are now, it's going to come together. But they they want to drop all negative emotions and thoughts and I do see you guys releasing anything negative that has happened. You guys are going to forgive and forget about it. It's the best thing to do. It is the best thing to do for the both of you. Now let's see the mutual energies between the two of you. Time to stock your energies together that intertwine and match, you know. Those are your energies. You're both feeling left out for one another. Yeah, you both have been isolating yourselves from one another. You don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> both of you had your walls up. Somebody's going to bring the walls down here. And it's going to be more stable.
you guys are going to talk about the sadness that you had without one another. And you're... You guys do mean something to each other. This person's reflecting back. Now they're focused on the good times that you guys had. They're looking forward to better times with you. Um... But you guys are going to forgive and forget about anything toxic. It's going to get better. Trust me. It is time for a balance. You stood in your power. Not only, not only you, but them too. I do see it. I do see it. They're coming back around to you. They're coming back around to each other. I see that. There's no doubt about it. Yeah. You guys are dropping any deception that happened. Um, I am done with the reading, but I do have uh, something to say. There, if you like cars and you like, you know, if you're in the car scene, the car community, and you like things like that, um, there will be a link to my fiance's Instagram. Uh, if you, if you like all the car stuff, uh, head over there, give him a follow. he greatly appreciate that. Here comes the train. That means we better go. Bye, guys.